Sagittarius, hi, it's Lisa here from What's the Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 13th to the 19th of February 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Right, Sagittarius, straight into this. 13th to the 19th of February 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Sagittarius. Overall, you get the High Priestess. Have got your guard up for some reason here, but you're quite content just watching what's going on around you. You're just not wanting to be overwhelmed by too much happening all at once or come flooding in. It's almost like, you know, as the dam builds up and then the gates open and it's just like, Foof, and it's like, no, nah, <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> so that guard may be up just to slow the energy down here. Um, to keep things at bay for a bit while you just have a look around you what's happening past energies you get the ten of swords the lovers the moon may have a connection to gemini or pisces here feel like you've gone through some sort of painful cycle even further back in the past and it may be that love's come in here to conquer those fears that painful cycle that was happening there um, soulmate twin flame somebody significant existing relationship somebody brand new maybe somebody that you almost like a friend that progressed into something more that moon gave you that little bit more clarity to see somebody in a very favorable way to actually bring that painful cycle to its closure wow present energies seven of swords seven of wands the deceiver you are dealing with some deceptive energy at the moment some sort of negative toxic unhealthy energy here may have a connection to a capricorn but this is why your guard is up overall for the week there may be some gossip some backstabbing that you seem to be the target of here and this energy that you feel stuck and bound to and not able to break free from and saying that the core of your reading just because your guards up it does not mean that you are quitting and this may be not quitting on yourself it may not be quitting on someone close to you or a situation there's persistence here there's not giving up but there is also deceptive energy that is happening around you which i feel like you're quite aware of even though that guards up as i said you're observant you know what's happening future energies king of wands the emperor's strength you know what you want, who you want, and where you want to be. Following your heart, following your gut instinct, what, see, what settles right with you. And um, it does take strength at times to follow these dreams of where you're heading. But may have a connection to a Leo here, but again, your gut instinct is kicking in. Strength, it may be mental, emotional, physical, even all of the above to get these dreams underway. But you do have that focus and I feel like this past can start to be broken free from that deceiver energy right there. But we will clarify everything, Sagittarius. Because it's almost like a flip of a coin. You know, one side everything is, is brilliant and then the other side it's, oh no, not. So let's clarify and sort this out i do clarify everything we'll start with the high priestess overall for the week three of cups eight of cups princess of cups straight away i love that you're celebrating be able being able to walk away emotionally from someone or something that's holding you back straight away it drew me to this energy here present energy that deceptive energy the negative energy here you are able to detach from that and that in itself you have something to celebrate here there is an offer of love this could be a child it could be a pet it could be somebody significant here but there is celebration overall and that is actually ultimately to be able to detach from that deceptive energy that you may be dealing with currently wow so past energies ten of swords 
Queen of Wands, Knight of Swords, Eight of Swords. Don't go rushing into things in the past here, or, or you didn't go rushing into things in the past. That Queen of Wands, again, confident, determined to go after your dreams and after your goals. You are ready to find other ways around things rather than rushing into things. That painful cycle came to its closure and you weren't wanting to take a step back and go back around that revolving door again. And that Eight of Swords was coming in to find other ways. Legally and morally I always say, but ultimately, again, that determination to go after your dreams and your goals and not rushing into it looking at all all directions and avenues there and into the lovers oh, that was a very good shuffle <laughs> I think we'll take them the lovers you get the ace of pentacles ten of swords we just clarified and the three of swords that painful cycle has been from some sort of third party energy interference meddling butting in where they're not wanted pretty much it may be around love it may be around work it may be around home but ultimately you're ready for this new beginning and this may be somebody extremely brand new as i said you may be looking at somebody um, a friend that developed into something more personal there but there was this whole new beginning that brought an end to this painful cycle you'd been through and an end to this heartbreak and this third party energy here wow and the moon I was giving you all the clarity you needed always say when things are a bit darker and grayer and um, that moon is shining brightly for you so you can see very clearly queen of cups king of swords the lovers very similar energies throughout in your past energies there um, a connection to Gemini here or Pisces but taking some very swift action here using your head over your heart when it does come to somebody significant existing relationship it may still be an existing relationship it may have been somebody brand new you're proud of how far you've come emotionally feel further back it's been one hell of a journey for you and um, that painful cycle double dose in that past energies of the ten of swords bringing that to an end no more of that wow so present energy seven of swords judgment the sun ace of swords and there you go clearing the crap out I always say and having a fresh new start here happiness joy a sense of freedom and release you're walking away from that deceptive energy i feel like it's this third party energy the painful cycle you've been through that is what you're walking away from keep an open mind now of what lies ahead and where you're heading while you're not giving up next with that seven of wands your happiness your joy and it is even a sense of freedom here but this whole fresh new beginning starts to get underway and that persistence may be well and truly starting to pay off here with the seven of wands in the core of your reading love this temperance princess of wands the empress yeah and again intuition following your heart your gut instinct it's telling you it may be screaming at you especially around this deceptive energy that's going on but again being aware of that that high priestess overall your own energy Sagittarius with temperance here may have a connection to another Sagittarius going with the flow not forcing the issue yes being persistent but not forceful right there you're willing to share your ideas here but instinctively you are following your intuition here as well with where this flow takes you and it can bypass this deceiver energy i think it wraps this up once and for all so the deceiver same energies again seven of swords four of cups the world it's taken a lot of your time a lot of focus a lot of energy to be able to walk away from this deceptive energy this may be an addiction of some sort whether it's within whether it's somebody close to you but there is this negative energy that's taken up a lot of your time but it's um, finally been able to walk away from that at the right moment the world 
it's been one hell of a tough life lesson but it has happened for a reason and now you're able to actually shift your focus around to see what else is on offer because what's coming in beside you here may be something bigger and better doesn't mean you have to take them take these other options always say but at least look at them and explore them and shift that focus around and you are able to walk away from that um, toxic energy there pretty tough Sagittarius let's go to future energies king of wands no wonder you finished with strength four of pentacles the magician nine of wands it's not so easy to walk away or release this energy you still feel bound to it in some sort of way always say this may be a separation where there's kids involved or children involved and then you've still got that partner there it may be a legal contract of some sort you're trying to break free um out of some loopholes there or around home buying a home or something like that you're manifesting a way to release this energy once and for all done dusted finished with okay you've overcome all these obstacles you're on solid ground creating the magic creating the process but making sure all your t's are crossed all your i's are dotted especially if there is some sort of legal contract involved that you are trying to extract yourself from ultimately that determination you know what you want you know where you want to be heading and you know who you want and you're manifesting this and you have left all of these obstacles in the past there's this clear path ahead of you now love that and the empress following your heart and your gut instinct here the chariot brilliant eight of pentacles the star Yes, you're very hard working, you're very focused, you're very dedicated here to follow your wishes, your dreams, your hopes, to get this chariot moving forward, but keep it moving forward in a at a manageable pace. Always say don't get the speed wobbles, you may have connection to Cancer or Aquarius here, but also with the hard work you're putting in, still be aware of what's going on around you. We talked about that with that Four of Cups back there, but... Um, follow your gut instinct here where this energy is taking you you know your wishes and your hopes here but um yes it does take hard work but still be still be focused on on other things as well always sound like i'm lecturing so you finish with strength sagittarius four of wands knight of cups two of pentacles love 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 that stability commitment especially around this offer of love confident the two of you do make a good team and starting to come together get things into balance and alignment even within but i feel like this is actually a couple here existing relationships somebody brand new things are starting to balance out quite nicely here a commitment marriage proposal moving in together meeting somebody brand new maybe this friend that you've now looked at in a more favorable way but also around stability buying a home getting a job promotion etc home and family life stability commitment love and coming together and keeping things very balanced it's taken strength to get here hell yes but here you are right there love that so Sagittarius let's see what the universe says king of cups ten of wands princess of cups you're in control of your emotions here especially when it comes to this offer of love whether it's a child a pet a younger energy you have the princess of cups overall as well we mentioned that but this offer doesn't seem to be going away okay you're ending this burden of feeling like you're doing this journey on your own and i feel it all comes around because somebody else is coming on board here and um, it still may be a friend it doesn't have to be love love um, it can be coming in the form of a family member friend a work colleague this offer with this cup but um, you're in control of your emotions and with this offer comes the ability to be able to release this burden of carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders because it's been a hell of a weight as in heavy <laughs> um, but you do finish down here no wonder as I said with that strength so Sagittarius let's see what Star Temple Oracle says to finish
that way. Yet yeah, number 15, I love this, especially with this reading, The Awakener, Rise. Out of the ashes, I rise like the golden sun. Brilliant to go with this reading, Sagittarius. Star word, spiral, awaken, soar. As the awakener, Electra appears to those who have been on a slippery slope of self-sabotage, only to awaken, rise out of the ashes, soar into the stars, and ascend like the golden sun. The University of Life has taught you a lot. You may have even hit rock bottom, but your soul's growth has been accelerated due to the hard-hitting knocks and tough life lessons you have experienced in the past. Surrender any regret with self-compassion and know that you are back on your higher, happier and golden pathway. Stronger and wiser, you soldier on with confidence. Love that, as I said, to go with this reading. Brilliant. So that's what I have, Sagittarius. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.